Sit, breathe, watch your thoughts. Eight weeks of daily practice of something called mindfulness meditation had come to an end. The object was to see if it reduced stress, or in Fiona's case, chronic pain caused by the condition lupus. So, had it? All I know is that if I do a meditation practice and I'm in a lot of pain, it's not that the pain goes away, it's that it becomes more manageable and it's sort of put in its place, it can be dealt with. I, though, wanted to look a little deeper, and so we went to a neuroscientist. Um, can you please keep your eyes closed and allow your mind to wander, OK? Elena Antonova, the Institute of Psychiatry, wired us up in an MRI scanner. She asked us to let our minds wander normally and then to meditate. The images are open to argument, but Elena says the results back up Fiona's experiences. On the left, you can see the area in the yellow circle, the response areas created by pain. On the right-hand side, they'd calmed down. So this sort of shows the... Uh, you, to my mind, when I practice it, it's not that the pain goes, but it's, I can almost take it down a few notches, mm -hmm. and that's physically showing it that. It seems to be consistent with your experience. Oh, wow! Mm. Gosh, that's amazing. But what about me? When I meditated, an area at the front of my brain became less active, an area associated with self-centeredness, the ego. The me bit has disappeared. The me bit is definitely relaxed. Well, I probably wouldn't say completely disappeared because just remember we're looking at the comparative state. So did she see this pattern in anyone Nature, else? But, but definitely the activity have shifted to the posterior bit of the brain from the frontal lobe and that's generally you know, the, the posterior activation are seen in um, Franciscan nuns, for example, or Tibetan monks during meditation. A Franciscan nun? I wasn't expecting that. But Fiona's findings were worth further investigation. We sent them to an independent pain researcher at another university who said something had calmed the pain network. And when Fiona says she feel less pain or is less troubled by the pain, this has backed it up. That's right, yes, I would say so. This is quite clear from her images. I knew what it was doing and I use it all the time and it helps me with my pain. But there is something very powerful about knowing there is physical, objective proof that it's working. Scientifically, just two scans doesn't prove much, but it does reflect a wider, growing body of research that suggests Mindfulness meditation can help stress, pain and even self-centeredness. David Silito, BBC News.